All right, guys, we are in the truck, headed to go get our new project. Uh, it's gonna be a little different, that's all I'm gonna say. So let's get this uh, show on the road here and let's go see what new financial mistake I just made. So we're here standing inside of front project that we may or may not get. We're gonna go take it for a test drive, but the owner of this truck did not want to be filmed. Well, you know, the deal is made when your buddies are driving off in your truck and you're going home in a new one. Whew. Looking gorgeous though. Pulling up Black Ridge. <laughs> Already got a check engine light. <laughs> Six on light. Oh, what did I get myself into, guys? Other than that, I mean, air conditioning works, cruise control works, windows work. It's got the fancy tow mirrors. Dude, XLT life. Got the crew cab. Not bad. It's like a mega cab without training issues. Freaking 5R, just solid. Guy made us a good deal, but not a bad truck. I'm, I'm pumped. Let's get this thing home. guys so you saw the pitiful burnout give you a little shot by fly by oh can't beat that 6-0 sound I don't care who you are got ourselves the certified ripper oh guys I'm pumped so pumped yeah, old the truck got all dings scratches rust it's got some saucy wheels not a bad overall truck Show you guys under the hood. All right, so we have ourselves here a 249,000 mile six liter. So, right off the bat, we bought this. It's got bad head gaskets. So, upcoming content. Uh, I think we are going to try and dyno it without the head gaskets just to see what it'll do. But here's where she's at it's pr primarily stock. Um, it's got an AFE intake. Pretty sure something fell off back there, if you if you feel me. The owner said it has a stage two turbo. Um, Baron looked at it and he doesn't know what turbo it is. It might even be factory. It's got 22 by, or 20 by 12s. It is already reverse leveled. So they took about half the block out on the back and it rubs quite a bit. Other than that, it's in good shape. Sounds good, shifts good. A little down on power but i promise you guys we're gonna upgrade this thing so for those of you guys that don't know i had a buddy in high school and my dad had a service truck that was a six liter and i always thought they were so cool now some people think they're annoying the jet list or whatever i always thought that sound was just so cool and i love when these things get up around 32 3400 and the veins open up and it's just that brap noise like I love that about the six liter. Um, and honestly, to keep the channel fresh, get new people coming in here, we're gonna do a 6.0 build. So kind of what I'm seeing in the future here, we're gonna get the head gaskets fixed. We're gonna do some SCT uh, live wire tuning um, and we'll get you guys those numbers. Then we have some injectors coming. We have turbos coming. We have all kinds of cool bolt-ons. And our goal is to take this stock bottom end six liter and make somewhere around 850 horsepower maybe 900 horsepower 
and then we'll enjoy it. We'll, we'll go drive it. I want to drag race it for you guys. I want to sled pole with it. So we'll beat the living piss out of this thing too. Um, and, and see what fails. Um, this is my second six liter, but this is the first one that I'm actually going to modify, care about, stuff like that. I'm really excited. If you can't tell, anybody loves a good truck. But this one, good deal, decent shape, not too rusty, a little bit of rust. It is just an XLT, so it doesn't have as nice of interior, but it came with these really nice seats and no cracked dash, which is kind of strange, it is the crew cab, which is nice because then I could still put my family back here. Power windows, power locks, sliding back glass. Came with a toolbox. We got fifth wheel rails, which means we can tow a gooseneck. I have the adapter plate for that. And just off of Baron and I driving it, we kind of got a good little scheme here. Uh, when the cab comes off, I'm gonna pull the drive shaft, send them to the drive shaft shop, get those redone. Gonna get some shocks ordered for this pig and just kind of give her once over. The batteries are three years old. We might throw some batteries in it, but all in all, um, it's gonna be a pretty slick unit. And I totally forgot I left it out. So this is a 2006. So that's a half year model for these. I do need to figure out how to shut that off. Oh my God. But I know everybody's gonna comment about the dang check engine light. So let's take a look here and see what we find on the old snap-on scanner here. Okay. So we'll do a pre-scan. All right, so all we have is some glow plugs, which isn't a big deal, ABS, whatever. So just some glow plugs, we'll tackle that as we do upgrades. But for right now, we're gonna go ahead and get a set of Opti Torx and new head gaskets, get these heads surfaced real quick so we can get this thing on the road and get the tuning in it. Now you may be asking yourself, Josh, this is the introduction to the truck. What are you gonna do? Well, I told you guys I love the whistle. So I'm gonna go ahead and just knock out the four inch straight pipe. It's already got a four inch in there, but it does have certain things prohibiting sound. I'll let you guys fill in the blanks there. So these, these have just gotta go. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get this thing racked on the lift, kind of show you what the truck looks like underneath it. The unbiased opinion here, looking at the front end of this power stroke. Um, what I'm noticing is this is a Dana 60 axle. Um, everything just seems a lot beefier on this Ford. Like the track bar looks a lot bigger. The steering stabilizer, I'm kind of not a fan of where it's at right there. I think I might actually put the one down here. I've seen a lot of guys do, but big, big center link. The drag link, I think is a little undersized compared to this, but it looks about the same size as a Dodge. Uh, big ball joints on here. This truck has 250,000 and the hubs and ball joints are still tight. We checked the locking hubs, they work. Uh, obviously we have some oil leak uh, going on, which we'll probably address, but the drive shaft looks good. We'll probably get a two piece or a one piece drive line put in here, but the, the one thing I will say that the Rams definitely got going for it, the Ram rear end, the 11 and a half AM, just puts this thing to shame. Like this looks wimpy. So uh, moving on, it looks like we're gonna need to do brakes and rotors. Uh, I'm also gonna do a diff fluid service, trans front diff T case. Obviously we'll skip the oil change, but that'll be a separate episode doing that. But just things that are coming up. Now we're here to tackle these two obstructions to auditory bliss. Okay, so we got our cuts squared up and ground so we can weld on them. And this is going to be a make job through and through. 
We'll get the exhaust set up to where it needs to be, get a measurement, get our pipe in here. Jobs United, welded up, ready to go. I use the old hangers to make new hangers. Got a nice exit location, pitches it down just a little. I like it. Let's get her off the lift and give you guys a first for. Her. but I honestly think like don't get me wrong Cummins is certainly king but it's, it's spicy. that's a soft burn dude what do you think Mer? it's loud it did the brap that's my favorite the like whistle to the brap because it is freaking hot today and I was welding but pardon the sweat this thing is a ripper let's go on a little couple of drives here just kind of show you how she acts on the street. Let's make it look scary. Dude, for a stock truck, other than just a straight pipe and a cold air intake, no tune, stock turbo, stock fuel, this thing puts you back in your seat a little bit. And I love the fact that a stock tranny can just take it. Kid, and that was like 40 guys but you get the drift i mean it's it's a fun little ride what do you think Mer? yeah for sure i think death to 5r is gonna happen a lot sooner than we all think but it does have the manual shift so you can really spike the boost dude cedar city doesn't even know what's about to happen can you imagine my neighbor where oh i used to live gosh. oh my god dude that lady would be riding the mayor. Dude. Shit. Now I know why Katie Noel did all those songs. Six blows where it's at. It rubs a little. But... Just so snappy. Show you guys tow haul mode acceleration here. Flat foot. I 
My bad. Shifts a lot later in tow haul. A lot later. Freaking loud, but I love it for right now. Maybe eventually I'll be tired of it. Control your excitement, Mark. All right, so we bought a 6.0. And a lot of you guys are probably wondering. Well, I went on YouTube. I couldn't find a lot of cool stuff for 6.0s. Um, uh, and not to be arrogant, but like what more can we do with the 07 with its current engine? We already have done over 2,000 horsepower. Done everything out here that we can do with it. Um, and I've I've had a passion for 6.0s. I never really liked them that, that much. I always thought they were kind of mechanical nightmares. But with Baron's help, and the guys help we'll get this thing turned into a fun ripper i promise you guys that no we did not sell anything 05 is still sitting in the shop we got the general the polaris or sorry the 21 and the 07s behind that so we're gonna have some fun with this hopefully you guys enjoy the content um if you have any 60 buddies or anything like that we're gonna be doing some 60 content we do have king of the street coming up we'll have to get prepping for that but all in all, just a different platform to build a cool truck on, bring you guys some new content, and maybe laugh at all these power stroke woes I'm about to go into. We already started with blown head gaskets, um, check engine light for the glow plugs. So we got some work we got to do. We got some parts we're going to install. But all in all, we drove it home. Runs great. Straight pipe sounds even better. It will do a burnout in stock form. And let's get you guys some baseline numbers. That'll be coming soon. Hopefully you guys like this video. Drop a comment down below. Subscribe if you are not already. And as always, guys, I'll catch you on the next one.